the blush when somebody says your name. Guys, hmm. it's the day I came back from Kenya, like today, and I'm already Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> After I'm about to unpack, guys. The news about her, but we his wife, his son, um, the former um, good chairman of NGX. Just so you know, and it's just really sad. I did a transaction last year in the news, so I can talk about it. That involved Access Bank. I was actually on the other side, Access Holdings, well, and Access Bank subsidiaries case me belt. I came in contact with his name a lot, like, but we get what we get was just in my paste that period and it just shows you um life life is really weird life is crazy and it seemed like it was one of the good ones you know it's just it's just sad man good afternoon i'm going for a sunday lunch a brunch i'm going to meet ogona the room cafe like it's so hot. I wanted to do slide makeup that I saw on like Instagram makeup without foundation, but I was literally dripping of water. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that looks good. And your face looks very nice. When did you do your hair? Oh, so beauty. <laughs> Red, but not red. Thank you to my man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to my man. 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 Girl, 
ones I saw. They are so cute. Somebody say International Women's Day. How are you doing? Apologies if I look a little bit haggard. I just came out of the bathroom and for the life of me, it's so hot and I don't want to put any oil or cream on my body because I may go crazy. Just brought the light bulb. Things are yet to get cool. <laughs> anyway, so I used Price Pally for the first time and I wanted to do a review. I wanted to show you guys the things I got, price I paid and what I felt about the delivery. This is not sponsored by the way. I'm just giving feedback because I find, I think it's an interesting service, right? That bags I have. Got the last bag. That's it over there. It's supposed to be chicken and yeah, I'm just going to open everything. We have carrots, we have Irish potato, sweet potato, plantain, ugu. We have avocados there, atar pepper. There's yellow pepper here somewhere. Sent me crayfish. Iru and pepper soup mix, tomato. <laughs> oh my god, the long time. All of this is what I leave like yam, <laughs> cabbage. So, this is chicken, pomo, goat meat, cow meat. You guys, I think it's worth the price. But all in all, I think they, they, they tried. So, apparently, if you other like between before 5 pm. The previous day you can get your order the next day like early morning afternoon but they don't do deliveries on sunday so if you order sunday or is it saturday till you get to monday something like that so i ordered sunday of course they said today but it came like past 7 p.m which i felt was a little bit late uh, so there's some things on my list they didn't have that i had to now get by myself right when i called to ask like oh i've not really seen my order blah 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 i got a message on whatsapp or something like that it told me that oh something some things on my list were not there so they're saying oh they are late because some of their suppliers disappointed them so me i was not really happy because i'm like what's the point if I, I couldn't get everything on your store because some things were out of stock I had to go and get some and now you're still telling me that you don't have even what i placed for but hopefully when i checked it was only um catfish fresh catfish i wanted catfish as well so I wanted to make fish pepper soup. So then I was just like, okay, so it's only cat we have. So, um, which is not that bad, to be honest. I'll just get that one thing. And it's already late. This is like past nine. I can't. <laughs> this is more work than I expected. And I don't think in my brain, I thought everything was going to be this much. But then again, I was like, it's a lot of money. I think I was interpreting um, cages to be like portions or something. I was just like, oh, I don't just want people to bring less things than I need. That's why I ended up with like an entire bag of water leaf. But you know what? I'll just cut everything and cook everything. Nothing is going to waste by the grace of God. Of course, I can't cook everything this nice. I'm just going to take it easy on myself and be cooking like one day at a time, one day at a time, so I don't get um, overwhelmed. But that's that. I think I like Price Pally and I think I'll be trying it again. Even if I mention my total was like 78,300 and something, 25 was for delivery, which I felt was very, very, very decent. Very Hi, decent. <laughs> Who is <laughs> like, oh my god, yeah, we go. this girl we go. Anyways, while oh, we're going for uh, some women in business thing in VI, we're quite late. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. Like, I'm trying to be early this year, like, it was not deliberate. So, we're heading there. I'm gonna show you guys the clips, you know, women in business and that. Yeah, so let's see. <laughs> I'm sure it's a little new introduction for many of you. Those who know me, I am a Franklin by birth. I mean, I'm from Cameroon, speaking Cameroon. But I spent a number of years of my life in English speaking country. I saw the good, the very good, the bad, and the other. But we tend to forget that DRC is first of all a country that's strong for its agri business. I'd like to talk to you briefly about operating across Africa in different countries. 
Um, I'm quite young for the vision that I have, but again, I believe what I have to say is powerful. I understand the importance of doing business as a young person or starting young, and I understand the importance of One Africa, even though we haven't really gotten there yet. Thank you. That's okay. I've been in Nigeria long enough that I'm used to all the bad jokes about Ghana. Um, good afternoon again, everyone, and thank you. Thank you, Johanna, and the rest of the team for putting together such an incredible event. I always love the energy when I get to be in a room that is all women and the special conversations that happen here, so it's exciting. Partners and I run a West Africa focused private equity firm. So we invest in businesses currently in Nigeria and Ghana. About to start investing in Senegal and Benedict's house. Today is March 1st. My birthday prep has started. My birthday is March 9th and I'm doing my nails for the first time in like two years. Just damn me. to arrange my things and um, some of the things and put them back in my cupboard it would have been nice if i had somewhere to go with this makeup right <laughs> but yeah anyways let me show you guys the new skincare go if i told you guys but gonna give me a list of like the products i could get like skincare because you know i said i wanted to change my skincare and i'm gonna like i was really as a passion she's really into skincare so i got so everything was not available on the website i checked like skincare brands websites and some of those things are actually quite expensive i think but I, I was able to just get a moisturizer a cleanser and what again again something else but let me show you guys the three products i got so there is this this is the ceramic moisturizing gel cream i've never stayed using it um then there is these this is what this um propolis energy toner i've not used it as well I think yeah this is the ceramide skin barrier hydrating gently clean so there was a hydrating <laughs>
just realized that I'm actually not vlogging but i don't know if i'll be able to buy my work this international women's day march 8th happy international women's day while well, tomorrow is march 9th which is my birthday of course and my work i'm actually moderating our webinar for international women's day today like the an event we're having to commemorate international women's day so i'm excited and i'm hoping that by now some of you would have joined and see you guys later bye my QB. my birthday <laughs> and i'm heading to the beach because my office is having some international women's day event you may have seen the event i moderated yesterday just little clips but now i'm heading to the beach and it's an all white party what i ordered what i actually wanted to wear the size was out so i just came up with this from what i have in my wardrobe i will more people see the full feed so yeah today i've just been chill i mean i'll give you guys an update later more update later but i was just at home and then now i'm going for this event it's 28 baby and then after then i'll go back home so people were asking me what's the plan what's the plan but i think i'm on a very chill vibration but i'm good so we'll talk later okay i mean yeah, it's supposed to be by one i'm arriving here at two so
Christmas gift. It's not fair. I came early though. I came early. <laughs> service in my church high tea fashion because they didn't question and answer so also like sipping tea so dressed high tea-ish and i just finished showing you guys like a video of what i wore so i hope you liked it i hope you think it's cute but anyway so you know like i'm a lawyer right by day and night i guess for the most part i'm a lawyer right that's my full-time job that's what i do and I always get this like, oh, Amanda is such a workaholic. Amanda is always working. Amanda is like, she's so into work. And I'm like, am I really a workaholic? This is just random thoughts in my brain. Am I really a workaholic? I feel like the job I do has long hours, right? Being a lawyer in general and any type of law I do, like long hours, you know, those type of things. Now, what does the Bible say? Um, see a man diligent in his work, right? Who stand before kings and queens. Oh, aside even that, as a person, everything I do, I try to do it well as best as I can. So, if succeeding at my job and doing well at my job means putting in hours, a lot of hours, this is what I have to do. Do I particularly love the fact that I tend to work a lot, work over time? Like it seems like the work never ends. Not really. But am I also going to slag in doing my work properly because it requires long hours? No. So as far as I'm there, I mean, of course, with growth, you try to learn to set some boundaries and, you know, hopefully things get better. But the job itself is time consuming and it's demanding of your time. So as far as I'm in there, I'm not particularly the workaholic. The job demands a lot. If I had another job that just needed me to be there for six hours, that's what it's going to be. So I'm just saying this to say that's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to do my six hours and, you know, forget about it. But so maybe, except maybe the fact that you chose to study law or the fact that I decided to pull myself into this type of career makes me a workaholic off the jump, then I guess. But generally, I don't think I'm going to just, you know, it's not required or it's not necessary or it's not helpful to just be always working that i would so so long as sorry guys it's so hot in lagos i'm sure i'm sweating like crazy but so far as i'm mean, still in this type of job then it's what i have to do guys am i really a workaholic or is my job the workaholic what do you guys think <laughs> 